What's up? You got a few more words about the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <coughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Oh. Ah. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in uh, Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. Ah! <laughs> Did you want to pop the pill? Cooler Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. There's no need to be afraid of sharks. The last whale shark died in 2067. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. <laughs> you wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. Yours. They were. Belong to you now. Huh? Huh. Fifty years back. Mexican conflict. When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So, that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <laughs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer?
got a better idea? Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher, fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Smasher? He suddenly comes to mind? Last time we saw him, Didn't we... Didn't have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. That ain't true. I'm not sure Rogue's a sentimental type. Hmm. Bitter bitch these days, said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty. And I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Hellman said you'd do this. Make a power grab or pitch for control. Anders Hellman. And just what has he ever done to help you? May not help, but he doesn't hurt me. Rogue's convenient cover. For what? Me seizing control of your body at long last? Or some gonk-ass suicide plan to attack Arasaka again? Know you pretty damn well at this point, Johnny. For the last time, no secret plan. Not sure you've earned my trust. This needs to work both ways, V. You enjoy complete control over me at all times. Don't even enjoy control over myself. You're the one who makes the bad calls. All I can do is advise. And ask for favors, like I'm doing now. No, asking too much. Sooner or later, you'll have to find your way to Makoshi. Rogue could be the ace you need. No, refuse to let you manipulate me again. Huh. Not working, is it? Afraid not. This discussion's over. Fine, I get it. Should you change your mind, give me a lift to the afterlife. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <sighs> the hotel pissed to Sophia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today.
装しているようです。もちろんです。わかりました。God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. Hanako sama ga omachita. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now I knew from the start. You knew. All the board members knew. Not one soul, even slightly interested in the matter, believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath 
Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sit. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arisaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So? Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the Not first to try. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V? Do you feel alright? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. like to feel fucking trapped. Asked you, warned you, but you've insisted on not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. Fuck off. I haven't agreed to anything But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. 
Not gonna be able to pry yourself out. Got any other ideas? I'd love to hear them. No? Then shut up and back off! Hey, you'd better relax. I am fine. Great, you checking out again? Just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah! Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... Wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. So, how bad we talking? That bad, huh? Alright. That should be a little better. Try sitting up. Carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. Ah! Just slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Uh-huh. You'll find something there that'll help you end this on your own terms. If you can manage to cross those few yards, the rest will be up to you and you alone. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision, and I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle. Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Say, 
who won the bout. Oh, so you heard that. Did he get up? Walsh, was it? No, never does. Meaning? It's a rerun. One I'd like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad then? If you already knew who won. Oh no, really. Guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? Entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but feels a little strange to call that a mistake. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. <laughs>